Okay, today we're going to be going through and making a uh, movement system like League, where we are just going to right click somewhere on the map and the AI will move. So, before we even start anything, we're going to need a navigation nav uh, mesh bounds. to fit our area to plan dot I'm gonna scale it manually. If we press P to turn our navigation on, we'll see it. Uh, I should probably scale that just a tad bit bigger. Okay. So we're going to need to start. We're going to need a AI controller. going to need uh, a what I use for this I've got the or the project on my other screen so I could just replicate it really quick pretty sure we want a yes our character we're gonna make a blueprint character AI character We're going to need to make also a player controller. So, we'll start off in our AI. Before we do that, we're going to create a behavior tree. Let's call it move to. And that should, that's all we're going to need for now. Go into master con. Set graph. begin play we're gonna run our behavior tree move to I think that's that's all we're gonna need in the controller uh, save that and let's go to We're gonna go to let's go to the player controller. Uh, my player controller. Uh, I'm gonna copy and paste this, and then I'll show you and tell you guys what it's doing, so I don't have to re-implement it all. Okay, so I need to go and make these and then give them their names. Let's see, create this variable, create variable. Okay, C. Put and add. Two main ones. Need to be move 
forward. And move right. We're going to want two buttons on both of them. We're going to have W, go forward, S. back go set s for negative one scale then move right we need d and a we're gonna put a on our negative one scale okay we got that so we get the controller rotation of our current rotation we get our forward vector and our right vector we multiply that by our axis values and plus those together. We then multiply that by our movement rate, which I got to compile to be able to give it a number. With no number, we can't move. With an axis rate, the way axes works is they're always continuous. So like if I were to say move right and I made this and I connected it to the location, uh, the local offset without this map, that means the person would just continuously move because no matter what this axis value always has a value. So, well, this not that it always has a value, but this always fronts. Our stored pawn is going to be an object. It's just the pawn that we're going to be getting to these are erring because we got to go over to the pawn and make that uh, so let's go do that really quick come over and open up player pawn open this up go to the event graph scan play once again uh, if you hold P and left click that brings up to begin play we need to create a variable for I just thought about it. I don't think that, that can't be an object. It has to be this actual. We need to go. This needs to be the controller. Which it. Player controller. Let's play player con. And we'll go. We're going to make it a reference to my player controller. And we need to come back over here and then change this one to player pawn change reference type I'm going to go into the player pawn and begin play we're going to we're going to right click get player controller and then we're going to cast to debug cast to my player controller and convert that into a peer cast it doesn't need to be a, a peer and then we're going to set that's not what I want we're going to set uh, pawn stored pawn get our self self get a reference to self and then we're going to set player I think it's yeah set player Now we'll have a reference for the player to the controller. That's all we need in the player pawn. Or no, we need to add um, arrow. Because 
our movement is being used. We need I need a few things. Um, need to get we need to add a spring arm camera. Spring arm camera, and then we also are going to need the arrow. I'm going to call this controller arrow because that is what it was called in the other one. Why is this thing? The variable wasn't saved, so now it's working. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. We need to. So now this will be for our stored pawn. Like that, and get controller arrow. Now I've set the world rotation. And then that should be all we need. So now we should be able to put our player pawn into the world and click play. Oh, it's not using our controller. We need to go to our project settings and maps and modes. to make a game mode uh, blueprint class game mode my game mode uh, default pawn class will be player pawn we need our player controller would be my player controller good close that go back into our project setting and select my game mode and I think it was doing it but it wasn't controlling it hold on let's see let's get this a rotation got like a nice downward look it's, uh, no, it's not resetting that um, this needs to be moved over to um, why is it not wanting to access the controller Point 